now entering the shop of Venture Sports in Monaghan. It's uh, quite a big shop, Good but morning. we are approaching now behind the counter, Dick Kiernan. Hi. Hi you are the owner Hi. and the founder yes. of this beautiful shop. Yes. Already uh, since uh, more than 20 years. More, 22 years now. 22, 22 years, years now, exactly. Yeah. And um, the most important thing about you, I think, is that you describe yourself as a fishaholic. Yes. yes what, what does yes, that mean? Yes, that, what, that what, would what, be, um, I could fish in a bucket of water if I have the chance. If I get time to do it, I'll fish. Yes, any chance I get, I'm on the water somewhere. Be it a lake uh, for trout fishing or salmon fishing on the river, or course fishing on, a, on, a, on one of the local smaller lakes. Exactly, because you told me that you were uh, fishing since you were six years old yes, as a kid. Yes, 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 yes. And in the beginning, of course, you were fishing for the catch, but now you're fishing for other reasons mostly. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's out and about, it's, it's out in the air, it's away from the TV and all the hustle and bustle of, of, of town life and, 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 and all of that. Um, and it's a way of just enjoying nature, uh, see the wildlife around you. Uh, and like with the eyes and ears of all anglers and, and, and indeed shooters, uh, the eyes and ears of, 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 of the natural world around us, I'm able to quickly report these things for the government bodies, such as the uh, Inland Fishery Board and, and, and uh, all the other bodies that are uh, really interested in, in, in or whose job it is to, to preserve and, and conserve. Ex wildlife. Exactly, Dick. So tell me, you know, we're now in the Monaghan town. Of course, this is a famous town for fishers, is it not? Yes. Why, why is it so famous for fishing? It holds a great stock of, of, of good wild uh, fish, such as trout, uh, tench, bream, rud, uh, excellent pike. Um, and yeah, we have a lot of, 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 of us. small, comfortable fishing lakes. Okay, Dick, so now we're going to show you show me some of your you portfolio, of your products. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, mostly sure, sure. the base, but the first sure, thing I want sure. you to As show you me. Here, uh, I do, uh, yes. This is one of my, my other. Uh, uh, you mean the cups? They have nothing, yes. to do, nothing to do with fishing, eh? Nothing to do with fishing whatsoever. I didn't win them or anything like that. Uh, I wish I did win that many cups, <laughs> but there, there are anglers out there who, who, who blinkers on to, to, to win cups. Uh, however, this is one of my, my, my uh, hobbies uh, from years back. Uh, I trained as, a, as an engraver um, and uh, I still do. Okay, let's not talk about that too much, but I want yeah, you to yeah, show yeah, me yeah. because you told sure. me this was very sure, nice. Yeah. That w This thing maybe to begin with, because you were very lucky, oh, you said. Yes, yes, one yes, of yes. your luckiest moments is when you are up to your chest in the water That's and you said you could stand there for hours. hours. Yes. But you can stand there for hours, but then you need, of course, a gear like this, because otherwise you cannot stand yeah. for hours. Yeah, this is neoprene, uh, as in a diving suit, yeah. Neoprene as in, in divers, uh, deep sea divers would wear this uh, material, of course, not this type of suit. And what it does is it, it, it just not only keeps you dry, but also insulates the body against the cold water. So you're comfortable. And you can stand in that uh, uh, lake or river comfortably. With your rod? Dry. Yes. Okay, we move on to the base now. You can just drop that thing now, because here we have a lot of very interesting stuff. To begin with, I thought, what kind of thing do we have here? That's but it. this is only for the fun, eh? This is for... That's uh, all. It's just a pillow for an angler to dream. Exactly, for dream That's on. All. That's but, a dream size fish. But here, yeah. for yeah. instance, this is not to dream on, eh? This no, one. no, this, that's the real thing. That's, they, these are, are uh, uh, plastic or, or um, rubber uh, imitations of, of fish of, of various colours, of course, and lure type colours. Uh, they've come on recently, just over the past maybe five, six years, and they are taken over from the heavier uh, spoons and spinners because they're just as effective and more lifelike. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, uh, for, so uh, these, uh, these baits are used for what kind of uh, catch? Uh, for a pike, uh, mainly for pike, yeah. uh, for trout, salmon, of course. Uh -huh. and on down then you have... Uh, Sea fishing, of course, as well. Uh, they're excellent for, for cod, uh, pollock, uh, indeed. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, excellent for, 
Yeah, so this is all bait, and here, of course, in the this is not uh, uh, freezing. Eh? This is you told me this is three degrees below, uh, be above zero. Eh? What yeah, this, this, these, are, these are maggots. Yeah, these are, are live maggots, yeah. which you use as bait for coarse fishing, roach, bream, rod, tench. Yeah, and they are yeah, one of the most popular baits. Yeah, the, of that, course. Uh, and they have the, the, the classic uh, worm, which are. Oh, they're also alive. Alive. Also, alive. yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course, yeah. So, so, so how, how much do you, how much do you pay? How much do you pay yeah. when you buy one worm? Uh, anywhere from a little kind of packet, <laughs> that a bit four euro around there. For uh, around four yeah, euro. Yeah, yeah. So not expensive, but a, a good bait for for trout fishing, uh, for bream tench fishing. These are all pike spoons. Spoons and spinners, uh, plugs of course, very popular, purely because they have more control uh, over them in the water. Uh, the classic spoons are, are, are a heavy bait for, for, and they give you great distance in casting, uh, but when you, when you take it in, it comes in in a straight line to you. So now we go to these nets. You showed me. You, you showed me also one very beautiful net, very comfortable to nets. work with. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dick. When it comes to nets, there's loads of. There's, there's the boat type nets, the larger type for people on, on, on boats and whatnot. And pike fishers would use the larger net for for uh, easier uh, comfort. Then you have the, the more compact devices, um, which is a, is a, a net that, that is telescopic. Good length in it, uh, at the same time, it's compact. Exactly, Dick, because as so you told me, um, yeah, they it's use this uh, once the fish is caught, they put it in the net, they uh, uh, weigh it, yeah. uh, they take a picture mostly, and then they throw it back in the water, right? Because uh, a very few fishermen here fish for food, eh? they mostly fish for the sports. It's for the sport, yeah, yeah, they're a catch and release, everything. Catch and release, yeah. okay. Yeah. So the last thing, maybe we go, mm -hmm. we go now to the rods, of course. This is, oh, of course, yeah, interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah okay. you told me one of your so favorite rods. You told me one specific brand is your Shimano favorite. Would yeah, have to be Shimano. There's no doubt about it. For, for quality of material, uh, there is no doubt about it. Uh, I like the, the manufacturing of it, the, the quality of it. The, the, the action is as exactly what it says on the, on the, on the rod. Is it, it does exactly that. Uh, some cheaper rods don't do that. They don't offer you that um, ability to, to select the gram weight or whatnot, and, and that's important when it, when it comes to, to, to fishing, spinning, and uh, dead bait. So you have an idea of what the rod's capable of, what, what the rod is capable of casting. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to end the video. We've seen a lot of things. Maybe the last question um, would be: uh, Are you the only uh, fishing shop in town? Or yes. not? So yes. th th yes. th that means that you do, can really do good business. There's no competition. Your your business is really thriving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do all the, the club memberships and, and uh, I support all all the local clubs in the area uh, and even involved in a big way in, in, in all of the local clubs. And uh, of course, uh, uh, keeping keeping the the, the conservation uh, of of uh, fishing. Uh, Number one. That's important. Uh, you you have a son. You told me, uh, Connor, Connor, Connor. Connor. He's yeah, also yeah, yeah, working yeah. in the shop sometimes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Is there a chance yeah. that he can take over the business, or don't you know yet? Oh, no, no. Connor is is as as is all of his generation computer buff, and uh, unfortunately that that's 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 how it is. That's a long way away. Okay, maybe he yeah. can develop a beautiful computer game for fishing, fishing on sure, the laptop. Sure. That's yeah, very yeah, interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Dick, for this video, and I wish you good business. Okay. okay.